All right, good evening and welcome to Master Talker Online Class. We are still on our video on solving um, Physics 111 question, okay? The workbook. So we are still in question number 51. Question number 51 said, um, question number 51, okay? Please, if today is your first day of watching our video, click that subscribe button. We do videos on university questions. So you can comment the name of your, your school. Then we can solve questions coming from your school. This particular one is coming from ASUT, that is Enugu State University of Science and Technology. All right? So comment the name of your school. We'll solve questions concerning your school, maths, physics, and chemistry. So the first question here said, mention the four types of motion so the four types of motion we have is what translational motion oscillatory motion rotational motion circular motion you can drop your own type of motion that you can remember so let's go to question number 42 at the comment section drop the types of motion you know question number 42 said a car a car initially initially at rest starts Starts moving. Start moving with acceleration zero point five meter per second square. Okay, covers a distance. Covers a distance of twenty five meters. Then I say calculate the time required. The time required to cover cover the distance now anything motion is the easiest thing to solve in physics so we have that the acceleration a is equal to what 0 0.5 meter per second square so the next thing they gave us is what they say it started from rest so our u is equal to 0 meter per second so the distance they gave us is what 25 min, uh, meters so they say we should calculate the time. So we know that our S is equal to what? UT plus what? Half AT squared. So our S is 25 is equal to what? 0 times T plus 1 over 2 times 0 0.5 times T squared. So I'm going to have 25 is equal to this and this is gone. So I have 0 0.25 T squared. So my T squared will now be 25 divided by 0 0.25. So my t square will now be 100. Okay, so my t will now be the square root of 100, which is 10 seconds. Okay, so that is for question number 42. Let's move to question number 43. Sorry, 52 rather. So we'll move to question number 53. So question number 53, 53. Question number 53 said an object. An object is rotating about an axis zero at a radius radius of zero point four five meters and at a constant angular acceleration of 4.2 rad per second square after 3 seconds then let's say calculate the angular speed okay solution i know that um, my v is equal to u plus 80 okay I know that my V is equal to U plus what? 80. So my angular speed is equal to what? Initial plus what? Angular acceleration times T. So I have that what? 0 plus what? Uh, 4.2 times 3. So I'm going to have, um, that is 12.6 rad per sec. Okay? So that is that. We move to question number 54. Question number 54. Question number 54 here said, uh, they say, given 
given the following. Then I say G, 9.8 meter per second square. Okay. Then I say R, 6.4 times 10 raised powers 4. Okay, 10 raised power 6 meters. And G, G equals 6.7 times 10 raised power minus 11 uh, Newton meter square per kg square. Okay. Then I say calculate the mass of the earth. They say let us remain their usual meaning. Okay. Let us remain their usual meaning. I know that my F is equal to what? G M M over what? R squared. Okay. So I know that this my M now is equal to what? Uh, my F is equal to mg mass times gravity. So I have G M M over R squared. So what are they asking us is M. So one of these take care of one of these. So I have to make this subject. I have that my M that I'm asking is what? G R squared all over G. Okay. G R squared over G. So what do we have? So my G is what? 9.8 times my arrow is 6.4 times 10 raised to the power 6, all squared. Now divided by what? 6.7 times 10 raised to the power minus 11. Please do it with your calculator and then write the answer. Please tell us the answer in the comment section. I don't have a good calculator here with me. So the next question, question number 50, what? Question number 55. Question number 55 said, define gravitational potential of the earth. The gravitational potential uh, is the work per unit mass that will be done in taking the unit mass from infinity to another point. All right? So that is that. So we'll go to question number 50, uh, 56. You can browse your own answer. Gravitational potential of the earth. Browse it and tell us what it is at the comment section. So they tell us, calculate the tensile stress in a copper in a copper wire of diameter 2.0 cm when it lifts a load of 1000 kg okay solution now, I know that diameter is the same thing as what? Half of a radius. So, R divided by 2 is diameter. So, sorry, half diameter is radius. Sorry, I'm looking for radius. Radius is half of a diameter. Uh -huh. So, which is what? 2 divided by 2, which is what? 1. 1 cm, which is what? 0 0.01 meter. Okay? That is my radius. So, I know that my area, my area is equal to what? Pi R square, which is what? 3.142 times 0 0.01 all squared. So I know that my, if you do that, you are going to have, um, okay, to get my area. So I'm going to have 3.142 times 0 point, 3.142 times 0 0.01 times another 0 0.01. So I'm going to have 0 0.1233142, okay? So, and I know that my load, load is what? Mg, which is what? 1,000 times 10, which is what? 10,000 Newton. I know that stress is equal to what? Force over what? Area. So, which is what? My force is what? 10,000. Now, divided by my area is 0 0.1233142. So, I'm going to have 10,000 10, divided by 0 0.0003142. So, I'm going to have 3182686.9 in what? Newton meter square. Right? So, this is meter square. So that is that for question number 56. We move to question number 57.
so question number 57 question number 57 says um they say what is scalar product of two vectors the scalar product of two vectors is known as the dot product okay the dot product of two vectors is equally known as the scalar product of two vectors why because in dot product the last result you got after multiplication is a scalar so that is the answer to that okay so question number 58 said a body a body of weight 5,000 or rather 50,000 Newton falls freely through through a height of 1,500 meter what what is the the work done solution very simple work done is equal to what force times distance and force is the 50 newton 50,000 newton times the distance 1,500 so you are going to have multiply the two and you get your results so that is that use your calculator and multiply the two so we move to the next question question number 57 sorry question number 59 question number 59 we say 1500 joule of work done in in raising a load okay a block a block from from the ground from the ground state to a height of 12 meters then they now say calculate the force on the block okay solution we know that work done is equal to what force times distance so force will now be what work done divided by that distance so the work done is 1500 divided by the distance 12 so if you divide that you are going to have um so you're going to have one two five newton so the last question here said uh the mathematical expression for work energy equation question number 60 said the mathematical expression for work energy equation is dash i'll be waiting for your answer at the comment section okay so drop your answer at the comment section so thank you very much for watching please like share and subscribe bye bye